Just picked up the metal for Jade's new frame. The next step is building it. First off today, we're gonna start building the frame for Jade. When it comes to any kind of custom work like this, the most costly constituent is the labor aspect. So that's where I'm saving the most money by us doing it ourselves. For those of you guys interested on different components of this build and how much I'm spending, the frame that we're building, I spent 116 bucks total. This is 20 feet of four by three steel tubing, 530 a foot, and after tax, it was 116 bucks. This is many years of development for cleaning out frames. <laughs> We're cleaning all the crud out of Jade's frame. That was originally a marshmallow launcher? Engineering project for school. It's a gumball launcher. Air Ready? pressure. Yep. This one shoots Nerf footballs. That's awesome. All right, we're loading up a football in there. We gotta try out this one. Now that I know that you have these in your garage this whole time. 40 yards. If it hits you, I don't know what to tell you. All right. Holy jeez! No, I didn't even want to run. Just went around the block with the camera down. Your friends are trying to go. First time attempting welding TIG or anything. Oh god. Stay right. with it. Yep. You got too far away. It's a little bit slower. A little slower and keep the nozzle closer. Start here again. Oh, okay. And I'll just clean that out and put a cover on it. All right. To keep the nozzle closer. These are my first welds. I'll figure it out, but yeah. we'll get him there. We'll get we'll get there. First time. First time. Yeah. Jack Wettern did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they uh they got my name mixed up on that, but uh Cool stuff, learning a lot. Best teacher in the world. Not me. <laughs> it's the only teacher you got. That's It's a lack of options, that's what it is. Yeah, I mean, I'll take what I get. Jade's new frame is finally attached. I'm gonna set up kind of a mock-up of how everything is gonna go, including like the gas tank and where the axle is gonna be set and the leaf springs, just so you guys get an idea and so I can get this video out and give you guys an update. But it's been a pretty long, uh, what would you say? Tedious process. Yeah, very long, tedious process. You have to do it right, yeah. yeah. Every little aspect of the frame, there's a reason behind why it's built the way it's built. So, we're gonna start grabbing stuff. These are the mounts for the gas tank, and this will actually be mounted underneath. You can see the nuts welded in underneath, and the same for the rear gas tank cross member as well. The new frame for Jade is going to be constructed, or it is constructed out of 8 inch tubing, 4x3. Um, it's light enough that it won't be super heavy, but it's not like quarter inch that some people use that's way too heavy for what this build is. 
and then it has uh, butt joints instead of miters. And it's been gusseted on both sides and top and bottom. So it's very strong. It'll be gusseted to the frame, original frame as well. Every single joint on the inside and outside has been welded on with a gusset all the way around. Every seam has been welded and has a cover pass over it. So even like this, you can see this is armor for the rear that's been welded to the rest of the gussets. So everything's kind of been double or triple welded at this point. Um, and it's got good harmony, which is a good way to tell if it's solid. For the suspension, I decided to keep the BDS 5-inch leaf springs that were on Jade, and then we'll be using airbags that'll attach to the axle. I did end up adding an Adelief to these leaf springs to try to compensate about a year ago for the extra weight that I was carrying. I probably will be pulling that out now for better ride, and the fact that the airbags will be able to carry most of the weight now. This axle is out of an 86 CJ7, it's a Dana 44. A very rare axle as they only came with them, I believe, that half year. year. Half ha a year. Half a year. Yeah, they're super rare. And it's the wide track. Right. Yeah, so it's not even all of them. It's a specific model and package. The guy who had these axles was looking to trade them for some work done to his CJ10 build, which Travis is going to do. So a little bit of labor in trade for the axles, and that's how we got them. So we got both the Dana 30 front and the Dana 44 wide track. I'm going to be swapping out the hubs from the Dana 30 onto Jade's Dana 30. I'll be putting on the locking hubs as well. Right now, the front drive shaft is full time, always turning, so it'll help with gas mileage, less friction, wear on the U joints. I will be re gearing Jade as well. Right now, she currently has 410 gears. I'm possibly going to be moving up to a 35 inch tire, and I'll be doing minimum 48s, maybe even 513s. Because fifth gear right now is completely useless and I never go over 60 anyways. I uh, probably will be going through four wheel parts as well to get the gears installed. So then they come under warranty and anywhere around the country, something happens, I can bring it in and, and get that repaired or fixed or new gears, whatever happens. A lot of parts are in transit. A lot more parts need to be ordered. Obviously, the frame needs to be painted. We're going to you know, wait till everything is installed till we start doing that. Need to get a longer drive shaft, extend the fuel lines and brake lines, and I mean, there's a lot of stuff to be done. But this is a huge step, though, because obviously you don't want to rush building the frame. Okay, structural integrity obviously is number one, and drivability. Drivability needs to be square, and you know that's why we really have been taking our time and making sure it's done right. Every part of the build. You know, there's a reason behind every part of it. Some of the little things, you know, like, I don't know a whole lot about welding, but I picked up a lot of uh, different, you know, good welding etiquette, you know, even just not rushing it because you heat up one side too much and it's going to start warping it. So you got to go back and forth between sides, letting each side cool down. Just little things like that, you know, like being very attentive to the, the details that count. This is the gusset that goes in between our frame and the original frame and it has holes cut in it so that when you weld it down on the frame you weld all the way around the edge and in every single hole so that you have a lot of surface area for it to not break off. And then on the inside of the frame we have about a half inch difference, I think it's 3 8 from this tube to this tube so we put a piece of 3 8 plate with the same hole cut out so we'll weld all the way around and inside the hole. Jade's body's getting long. Yeah. Jade's gonna have that big old body. So much body. So much body, Jade. Slowly but surely, we will get there, and I will be still attending Easter Jeep Safari, whether Jade is drivable by then or not. I might bring the dirt bike, but I should be there the whole week. So I'll let you guys know where I'm gonna be so we can all hang out and meet up and what have you. Love to meet tons of you guys out there. And with that, I'm gonna end this video with some thank yous. I have so many wonderful people to thank. I appreciate you guys being patient. Some of you maybe not so much, but it is what it is. We're gonna do this project right and it's gonna be so worth it. 
when we're done. To all my new Patreon pledges, thank you guys so much. Cheryl Miller, Nate Taub, A.A. Ron Noel, Triad Expeditions, Ethan Cummins, Shane Crahanbill, Sean and Rebecca, Oki Ohio, Noe Garza, Estera Felton, Christopher Aieo, Nicholas Hadsel, and Dante Robertson. Thank you all so much for what you're doing, and I need to thank new PayPal donators too because there's been a lot of you guys. Jeffrey Rhodes, Alexander Abuhoff, Samuel Zayao, Christian Harder, Andrew Nugan, John Boughton, Aiden Anderson, Andre Pasmatini, Moritz Musel, Ryan Childress, Jacqueline Liu, Kyle Yarkoski, Trey Dawes, Jade Bruther, Christopher Swain, Eliza and Brian Radcliffe, and Jason Contreras. I'm seriously blown away. The support, this community is so amazing, you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.